Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. This week I had a chance to hang out with some men from the church. We had some cups of coffee and hung out and talked about life a little bit before service started. And as is always the case, conversation quickly turns to history. And one thing that came up was people's first job or what their wedding day looked like. And because it's a big group of men, eventually somebody began to talk about cars. And uh, you know, the stories immediately start to fly. Oh, my first car was a 51 Chevy. Or my first car was a wagon. I think it was a Nomad, late 50s. Or my first car was a 40 Ford pickup, that kind of thing. And that got me thinking about boasting. And that actually brings us to where we are in Galatians. Things we can be proud of and things that we should be proud of are sometimes different. Paul had some real concern about that. Now he's ending up his letter in Galatians chapter six. So he's gonna do a little goodbye saying as well. But we today are gonna to be focused on the boasting part. It says, see with what large letters I'm writing to you with my very own hand. Those who desire to make a good showing in the flesh try to compel you to be circumcised simply so they will not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. I think that is the first point we need to make today. If someone is very excited or very sincere or very passionate about one little piece of scripture and trying to kind of force you into that box to have that same conviction on yourself it's interesting to look at why they're so passionate about that in paul's case those who were super passionate about making new believers walk through the laws of circumcision it was because they were worried about their own persecution for having not followed those old testament laws so that's the first point what he goes on he says for those who are circumcised don't even keep the law themselves but they desire to have you circumcised so that they may boast in your flesh that's the second point often times when I can convince you to change your theology or change something about yourself something that I've already figured out for myself or something I've already made up my mind about I can then boast in your flesh boasting something that I had nothing to do with whatsoever that's your second point. If someone is asking you to do a thing and pointing at the Bible, consider why they want that, what they have to gain from it, and whether or not they then can boast on your success or whether this is really driven towards Christ. Now you may be wondering, why did I say driven towards Christ? Because that's where Paul goes next. Here we go. But may it never be that I would boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though the world has been crucified to me and I to the world, neither is circumcision anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creation. Those who walk by this rule, peace and mercy be upon them and upon the Israel of God. I love that turn of phrase at the end that Israel has now taken on the mantle of showing God to the rest of the world. This is the big change, obviously, from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Paul's third point is very simple. It is that if he is going to boast, it is not in something he did, not in the flesh, not a physical accomplishment, but in Christ and him crucified. And I can't leave you today without showing you Romans chapter 1 verses 16 to 17 it's slightly longer passage than I normally do for a closer but I think it's a value as we look at what that means to boast in the cross Paul is talking about himself here in lieu of the cross and he says this for I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes the righteous of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written but the righteous man shall live by faith 
You see, Paul's not ashamed of the gospel because it is not him. It is his faith in Christ's work. And that is my encouragement to you this week. If you're worried about your day-to-day -day struggle and how you measure up with the things God has called you to do, don't forget that it was all a gift in the first place. Never boast in your flesh or what you've accomplished, but in Christ and him crucified it takes so much pressure off of us because the work is his well god bless i will see you next week don't forget to hit that like and subscribe be encouraged